What's going on guys, Steve Pulaski coming back with another Steve Pulaski Tries It video. This episode goes out to a good friend named Emily. This one's for you. So here we go. Now today I walked into a 7-Eleven. It was a random convenience store run, okay? So I got a couple new things <clears throat> for the sole purpose of these Tries It videos. And um, I saw that Gatorade had come out with a new line. Now I normally don't follow Gatorade and what they do, but... This line looked interesting. I got two of the three new flavors. The store was proclaiming them new. I didn't really do any research to see if they were new or not. But um, I think they are because I'd never seen these before. And um, these are the two of the flavors we got. It's, from, it's part of a new line that's called Gatorade Fierce. Now, I could have sworn they were doing this line before. Like, it's been out for a while, but I, I, I think I'm just thinking of that, um, what is it, that Prime Performer cover line that they've been doing for a couple years now. Um, and that's the mention too, these, these, like, stock names kind of get confusing after a while, you know what I mean? They just sort of become, like, interchangeable phrases. So anyway, though, back to the thing. Um, so I got three of the flavors now. I got pure cherry, which I'm going to explain why it looks cockamamie in a minute. Um, green apple, and the one I don't have on hand is strawberry lemonade, so I got to be checking that one out. I got to be checking for that one in new stores or whatever. Because I got a list of, like, these things I want to try in the next few months. The one item, and I'm just going to throw this out randomly, the one I item I've been dying to try just for, like, personal interest and just, um, one of these videos, but I can't find it for the life of me, is our Lay's wavy chips that are chocolate dipped. I don't even know if they make those. Like, I, I saw it online, and I saw it, like, around the holiday season. I think it was just, like, a very, very limited holiday thing in, like, selected stores, but I can't find them, and it makes me live because I'm dying to try them. But if you guys have any idea, I doubt it. But if you guys have any details on those, let me know because I'd love to try those. I'm, the Lay's wavy chips that are chocolate dipped. I mean, they just look great. And, and I'm not a big fan of wavy Lay's chips. I like Ruffles, but not too much Lay's. And they just don't taste right to me. But um, I do, do want to check those out. Anyway, going way off topic. So today we're going to go into these two, okay? I got two different glasses, uh, two little, um, little, I guess you call them spirit glasses right here to keep it classy. And so we're going to start out with blue cherry, and I'm going to explain why it's weird. First off, when you think cherry, you think, you think red. I know it's blue, but it still doesn't look right to me. I don't know why. It just doesn't look like it. Not to mention, too, I think they picked a poor choice for this. They could have at least made it a lighter blue, because I think this is going to get confused with the regular Gatorade blue flavor. That's just me, though. I could be wrong. So um, let me just read the nutrition facts real quick. Uh, there's about two and a half serving, uh, uh, servings per container. So you will get 80 calories, 160 milligrams of sodium, 45 milligrams of potassium, 21 grams of total carbohydrates, and 21 grams of sugar, okay? So let's get a, we're going to try this out right now. Uh, not a big Gatorade drinker. Um, I, I never really got Gatorade per purpose, actually, because they market it a lot as a health drink and whatever. That's how it's marketed, at least. But what always what never got me was, what always got me was the fact that it was like... Um, it had a lot of sugar in it. Even as a kid, I noticed it had an abnormal amount of sugar. And I would always question, it's like, you know, are they really trying to, like, make it a health drink when the damn thing's got that much sugar? You know what I mean? I don't know. I just didn't understand it. But anyway, it pours very smooth, clear blue, a lot like tropical blue um, Kool-Aid or just blue Gatorade, like I said. Not, not much remarkable. Deep blue color. Smells like cherry. Smells a lot like Kool-Aid. I'll give it that. A lot of cherry. Maybe a hint of tropical flavoring, but um, yeah, a lot, not a whole, not a whole like ton of like real surprising stuff. But it does smell like cherry. Let's give it, let's give it a taste. Cheers. Keep it classy. Uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's very light. It's not, I mean, judging by the sugar intake, I, I would have expected this to be a lot stronger. It's not, though. It's right about moderate on the scale, so it does give you that blast of flavor, but it does. it's not like overcompensating. Like, it's not something like that that really interferes with the experience. It, it, it's probably your quintessential drink, like, for working out or whatever, because it's not too filling, but it's also not too, like, light, where it's almost like water. It's got a good taste consistency, too. It doesn't change much when you drink it. Um, like, I, when I drank it, I, I didn't feel like it was stronger upon, you know, taking in than it was going down. 
excuse me, um, now it, it really stays consistent, and that's one thing I gotta admire about this. This is pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. Now, with Gatorade, though, like I said, with Gatorade, I gotta kinda be in the mood for it, you know what I mean? Like, and, and especially some of the Gatorade flavors, like, my one favorite Gatorade flavor was always, like, Ice Punch, excuse me, Ice Punch, or, like, whatever the clear one was, it was something punch, I don't know, but it was a clear one that tasted like punch, I loved it, I bought it, like, every day freshman year in, in high school, I loved it, it was, like, my go-to drink, I'd buy it in the little containers or whatever, it's from the vending machine, you know, way overpriced, but, um, no, I dig this, uh, and it's also, the other thing that's good about these kind of flavors, too, is, like, I think for a lot of people, they can drink them whenever they want, whereas I, th where Gatorade, I can't see, I'd like to see what they could do, but I don't think they're gonna be doing a lot more with, like, the, uh, the Limo and Pepino, like, they had, like, the Cucumber Lime or whatever flavors, I think those are, like, the kind that they tested out for the Hispanic markets or whatever, and they're not really going to do too much with, you know what I mean? Because I, I don't think they're, they're, I don't know if they're selling very well, but I don't think they're going to, like, take many more risks in that regard. I think they're going to stick to these kind of fruity flavors because, you know, they sell well and they have a bigger mass appeal. Now we're going on to the green apples. Let's try this. Which is interesting, too, because this one looks a lot like lime. So, I'm, I, I'm, it might be, it's a little, it's darker, though. But, I mean, I, I, I just feel that these, whatchamacallit, and, and even if you look at their containers, too. Sorry about that. Uh, if you look at these containers, too, they're not much different. I mean, this one a little bit, but this one you could really mistake. You know what I mean? It's just like another Gatorade flavor. And this one also, too, has says limited edition flavor on it. So, this one's not going to be out for very long, um... But, you know, a lot of companies just do that, I think, to spike sales. And then they're like, oh, we're going to have this out for another five months. That's what um, Bud Light did. That's what Anheuser-Busch did with the, straw, uh, the Bud Light Lime Cran Burritas. They kept them out for several more months in the winter because they were selling beautifully, like a lot of those margarita lines do. So, pure green, lime green, not much to say. Holy crap. I mean, it's it smells like an apple Jolly Rancher. You think I'm kidding? Or like one of those like chewy bars they give you that's apple or whatever of the Jolly Ranch. That it smells like a friggin' Jolly Rancher. Almost like one of those like really high in sugar drinks you find in the store aisle. You know what I mean? Like Jolly Rancher or whatever the juices are. Um, I'm liking the smell of it so far. Green Apple's never been a favorite of mine, but I'll drink it. Here, keep it classy. I like this one a lot. This is very good. It's a little tart. It's a little bit tart. But it's also got a huge green line kick to it. And um, I'm not going to read the, whatchamacallit, the, the, the nutritional facts because they're I, I just forgot I did. But they're they're the same. They're the exact same as its um as its um sister drink, um, Blue Cherry. And I would assume Strawberry Lemonade is too. But... I like it quite a bit. I mean, it's got, like I said, it's a huge green apple taste. Like I said, this one's a little bit more moderate, maybe a little bit mild. This one's right up at you, but it's still, it's light in terms of flavoring and hot and like strong and in, in, um, in consideration of the taste, which I think is great. I mean, I like this a lot. And I find it to also be too, um, one of the more unique things that Gatorade's put out. I mean, Gatorade has a lot of unique products, but aside from once you get away from like grape, fruit punch, um, the hell else do they have? I can't even think. Orange, lemon lime. You know what I mean? Then you venture out to these, which are like the more unique ones. And these are the ones that I always look for because it's like, hell, I can drink Arizona Orange Aid. I can drink Sunny D. You know what I mean? I can drink Arizona Grape Aid. I can drink, you know, tons of different. I can drink Hawaiian Punch. I, there's so many other successing drinks and they're all you could say well they're not health drinks well well Gatorade's got 21 grams of sugar I don't think I classify that as a health drink but um and it's dextrose too it's not that's the kind of sugar it's not like the friggin um the regular sugar you know what I mean that's a little bit less harmful for you but um no I like these unique drinks and I think they're very good and I guess as a bonus too you know what we're gonna do right now I, I don't know this is very random Steve Pulaski tries it moment yeah this is happening. This is happening right now. You're seeing it live. Not live. Mixed them. It smells like green apple cherry. Mmm. 
Ugh, never again. Anyway, for the blue cherry, I'm going to give a three stars. I'm going to give three and a half to the green apple. Very good work to Gatorade right now. These are two drinks you definitely need to try. I will keep my eyes out for strawberry lemonade, which I will hopefully be trying soon. I like the sound of that. Also, you're going to be seeing a couple more Steve Plasky tries. It's got a few lined up in the mix. Thank you guys for watching. Sub if you haven't. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.